Before I get started, it is important to note that whenever leveling up any dry form, there is a method that helps greatly regardless of which form it is. When leveling any form, when your form gauge begins getting low, around 1 or 0, you must head back to a save point and select World Map. Then re-enter the world to find that your drive gauge has been completely restored. Use this to your advantage in combination with the methods shown. Hey guys and welcome to my guide on how to easily level up all of your drive forms in Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix, specifically Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. The cool thing about this guide is that it will help you no matter where you are currently in the game. <laughs> Alright, which form are you looking to level up today? Valor form levels up depending on the number of slashes you do that connect with an enemy. Each hit counts as 1 EXP. You can check how much EXP you need for the next level in the status area of the pause menu. So please tell me, which point in the game best describes where you are? If you are early in the game, you should head over to the cave in the Land of Dragons. Yes, the big scary horseman is there, and that's exactly what you want. See, since he is a large enemy, he can take more of your hits, and therefore is a better candidate for leveling up Valor form. If you happen to defeat him, go ahead and slash away at the other rapid thrusters in the room as well. Once your form gauge gets low, head to the save point and out to the world map, rinse, and repeat. Wisdom form has been unlocked, yay! That also means your Valor form can now level up even more than before. Head on over to Mickey's house in Timeless River and fight the Hammers and Shadows. Focus on the Hammers because they can take more hits than the Shadows, which of course is excellent for Valor form. Once your form gauge gets low, head back out through the white door to restore your drive gauge. After you have unlocked Limit Form, you have also unlocked the best possible way to level up Valor Form for the rest of the game. Head over to Agrabah and in the Cave of Wonders. Head into the Treasure Room and you will find a Mushroom, one of Mushroom 13. But don't worry about defeating it, all you really want is to get as many hits on it as you can. Transform and then press Triangle on the Mushroom to activate the minigame. And once that's all done, all you need to do is wail on it. If you are near the end of the game and still using this method, you may want to equip a Keyblade weak in strength so you don't kill him by accident. Just a tip, if you start all your combos with the square button, Sora will start from an air combo. Air combo slashes are a tiny bit faster, so that in turn will mean you can get more EXP while doing air combos. So just start your combos with square, then go XXXX to hit faster. Once your drive bar gets low, head out to the world map, come back and repeat. Wisdom form levels up depending on how many Heartless you have defeated while in the form. One Heartless is one EXP in this case. You can check how much EXP you have left to level up under status in the pause menu. So please tell me, which point in the game best describes where you are? You just got Wisdom, great. Head back to Land of Dragons and start from the top of the summit. This place is just crawling with small fry, which is exactly what Wisdom Form needs. Transform and use Thunder like it's your best friend whenever you can. You are gonna gradually make your way down the summit, all the way back to the village, but of course, defeating every small heartless in your path. Once you make it back to the village, use the save point to head out to the world map, rinse and repeat. Once you have unlocked Limit Form, your Wisdom Form level cap has been raised, which means you will need to level it up again. I found it pretty easy to level up in Agrabah, outside of the Peddler's Shop. In this area, there are almost exclusively small, easy Heartless. Pass the first couple that appear and head up the stairs. Use Magnet, Thunder, whatever helps you get rid of these guys easily. After this, stay on the second floor and move towards the bridges. More small enemies will appear, which you can take out. Once you handle the second wave of small fry, you are now free to head back near the save point and take out those first couple guys, as long as you have time on your form gauge. I say take these guys out last because they are a bit larger and have more HP, so you don't want to waste time trying to defeat these guys before going after the small fry. Once you have done all that, head back inside, out to the world map, rinse and repeat.
once master form has been unlocked there is no better place to go for the rest of the game than timeless river head inside mickey's house and use thunder to take out all of the soldiers and shadows if after this your form gauge is low of course i recommend you head back to disney castle and repeat but once you reach the higher levels of wisdom near the end of the game i would say after you take care of the guys at mickey's house Head out to the save point, tap triangle to restore your MP on the save point, then go to the lily put and fight there. More small soldiers will appear after you take out the car and planes. Just use thunder to get those guys out of the way. Whenever your form gauge gets low, head back to Disney Castle to restore your drive gauge and repeat the steps. Limit form levels up with 1 EXP for every finish command that you use when completing a limit. Sounds like a pain at first, but really isn't that bad. You can check how much EXP you need to get to the next level by going under status in the pause menu. The funny thing about limit form is, once you have unlocked it, the best way to level it up is already accessible to you, or at least very close. So there is no need to ask where you are in the game. Limit form has one great method to level up. For limit form, head to the Cape of Wonders treasure room to be greeted by a mushroom. Transform into limit form and quickly press L1 and circle to do Sonic Rave. Once you start, keep mashing triangle and eventually you will do the finish command at the end. After the limit finishes, press L1 and circle again to do another and get another finish command. Once you run out of MP, you need to head back to the save point and tap triangle on it to open the save menu. But don't head out to the world map yet. Exit the save menu and your MP will be fully charged again, which gives you the freedom to go back into the treasure room and perform more sonic raves on the mushroom. Keep repeating this until your form gauge starts looking low and at that point, you need to head back to the save point and exit to the world map. Return and your drive gauge will be fully restored and you can repeat these steps again. To level up master form, 1 EXP is obtained from every drive orb you pick up. So before you do any of these methods, I recommend putting as many of the draw ability as you can and the drive converter ability which converts money into drive orbs. Also, equip the Sweet Memories Keyblade if you can, which gives you an additional drive converter. The Sweet Memories Keyblade is obtained from the 100 Acre Wood. And remember, you can always check how much EXP you need for the next level under status in the pause menu. So please tell me, which point in the game best describes where you are? Alright, if you just unlocked Master for the first few levels and take those words seriously, First few levels, I want you to start from the Bamboo Grove in Land of Dragons, and make your way out of the camp. At the camp, there will be a few Assault Riders. These guys are perfect. Kill them quickly with Thunder and they should drop some Drive Orbs. Now head to the checkpoint, and now what you want to do first is notice that there are three sets of objects in the room. Head towards each one and use Fire on them to release some Orbs. Heartless will appear, so a great way to take out both the Heartless and the objects is to use fire while locked onto a Heartless, but still have the object in between you and the Heartless. This way, your fire command will thrust forward and you will hit both the object and the Heartless. Of course, whenever your form gets low, you need to head back to the Bamboo Grove and go back to the world map to restore your drive gauge. But. Let's say you've been using this method and now you are leveled up a bit more and have a form gauge of around 6 or 7 when you transform. Now you can do so much more than just these two rooms. What I want you to do now is of course repeat the steps from before. Handle the assault riders and use fire on the objects. But afterwards, keep heading up the mountain since you have a bit more time. While heading up the mountain, go specifically after any assault riders you see. Remember, magic makes them a lot less threatening, but go ahead and take out any other small fry if they also happen to be on the way, because they also drop some orbs. As you go up, you should have taken out a total of 3 assault riders in this room. Head up towards the village now. If you don't have much form gauge left, go ahead and head back to the world map and start over from the bamboo grove again. But if you have some extra, I'd say like 2, head up to the ridge, ignore any heartless, and use fire on the objects in the room to get more orbs. Afterwards, of course, head back to the world map and repeat this process starting from the bamboo grove. It's a bit of a long run, but you get so many orbs from it that is absolutely worth it. Not to mention, I find this run more fun than most of the monotonous grinding in other forms methods. <sighs> End game, here we are. 
This is an extremely great and efficient way to level up Master, but of course this method isn't available until, well, basically at the end of the game. I know I recommended Drive Converter and Sweet Memories earlier, but for this endgame method, you must have these abilities to pull this off. Keep that in mind. You need to go to Twilight Town and head for the Mysterious Tower. Head up the tower for a while, keep heading up the tower until you reach the Moon Chamber. In here, go Master Form, and you should see a bunch of gamblers. Do not kill any of them. Just wait around them until a triangle command appears that says begin game. This will activate a mini game down at your command menu where you have to press X on the circle. That sounds really weird, but no, you don't want to pick the X's, you want to pick the circles, but with the X button. Press X on the circle, you know what I mean. It's fairly easy. I like to go down to the third one, and if you get it right, all of the gamblers in the room will drop a lot of drive orbs and money. And let me remind you, this will only work with your drive converters on. Keep repeating this and you should get the level ups in no time. Seriously, you get a ton of EXP for this. I didn't even need to head to a save point to go to the world map because the amount of drive orbs you get from this is ridiculous. If they for some reason aren't giving you any more opportunities to do the begin game command, just leave the room and head back in and they will reappear and hopefully start giving the command again. Final form is unlocked at the very end of the game, however, it is possible to complete the game without it. Tell me, have you unlocked final form yet? Alright, perfect. Well, here we are. Final form. Of course you are at the end game because you cannot unlock this form any earlier. Final form gets 1 EXP for every nobody you kill while in this form. And as always, you can always check how close you are to the next level under status in the pause menu. Since final form levels up based on the number of nobodies you have defeated, we need to find the easiest, most effortless nobody to kill in order to level up fast. Ah, perfect. The Creeper. Start from proof of existence and make your way out to Knott's Skyway. Pass any nobodies you encounter for now. They have too much health and are too much of a pain. You need to find the sweet spot in between these two staircase, uh, things right here and go final form. You are gonna get swarmed with small creepers and you can easily deal with them with your magic spell of choice. I prefer thunder. There are so many creepers here and that makes this the perfect leveling spot. Seriously, they just keep coming and coming and coming. But warning, since you are a bit farther from the save point, you're gonna wanna start heading back when your form gauge gets near the bottom of two maybe. Don't get too thirsty to kill these extra nobodies. You may end up reverting. But once you get to level 5 or 6, I would say it is safe to do a couple of spells on your way back. Since that is around the time you will begin being able to defeat all the creepers there without running out of time. And there are a lot of creepers, so it takes a little bit of time, which is why you will only be able to do it around at level 5 or 6. This is the best final form level up method I could find. With it, I was actually able to go from level 1 to 7 in under an hour. I hope this guide has helped you in some way. I'm Sir Alam one I worked really hard on this, so I appreciate it if you give me a like or whatever, comment, subscribe, anything, and I'll catch you guys later. That's all I have for you guys today, but uh, I don't know if I can make it to the next one without your help. Give me strength.